Yo, this episode of The Flash was pretty damn dope, man. The Flash season 5, episode 10, The Flash and the Furious, and we definitely got some furious-ass people in this episode, because, well, the episode starts off, we see Nora Speed 2049, where she just blows up and goes <laughs> off on a on killing her grandmother, you know, rightfully so. And what ends up happening is, she says, look, man, F you, Eobard, I'm no longer working with you. And so we go to present day where Cecile is pretty much prosecuting Weather Witch for her crimes. And Barry had to speed off and stop uh, Silver Ghost, uh, New Meta, <laughs> who has power. Her power is basically her meta technology uh, allows her to pretty much just hijack vehicles and so forth. We learn to find out her real name is Zara Van Zandt. And um, turns out she's a dishonorably discharged uh, soldier of the military. And so that's what Iris finds out when she does some more research on her. And so during um, Barry's chase to try to stop her, and she was riding up in the Lambo that she stole from this businessman that got pulled up for a DUI, Barry tries to phase through the car and get her, but the force field from her meta tech blows him away, and which disrupts Barry's powers. And he, can, he just cannot stop quantum tunneling or phasing. So, you know, Nora pretty much just runs him to Star Labs and... They put him in a cell so that way they can take away his powers and figure out what's wrong with him. And also in the episode, uh, Cecile, while she's in the decorporate processing, I should say, prosecuting Weather Witch, you know, this is when Nora takes Barry's place during the cross-examination. Uh, Weather Witch stands up on the stand and just admits full guilt. You know, she gets transported into Star, you know, to pretty much Iron Heights, but then that's when uh, Silver Ghost breaks around. There's a whole freak, freaking uh, high-speed chase with Nora going after her. You know, and um, even whether which even tries to help Nora, actually, she actually does. Um, when Nora's dead, going after her, and she puts ice on the ground, so then that way Nora doesn't get ran over by Weather Witch, because you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, by Silver Ghost, who's driving the Lambo, because Weather Witch doesn't want it. You know, she's a, she wants to atone for her crimes. She wants to be forgiven for those. You know, she wants to do her time. Now, Weather Witch tries to get to Silver Ghost, but she can't, because you know she's just so far gone. You know, and. Um, at the end, you know, they, at the end of the episode, they actually end up getting away. So we, we, that probably won't be the last time we see the, those two. But um, in the drive episode, you know, Caitlin removes the last remaining shards of Cicada's dagger from Cisco's hands and hope that when his hands heal, he'll go back to using his powers. But, you know, um, and, I, and I like the little reference to X-Men, too, that they did with uh, Cisco forming the uh, cure, the mini human cure. Because, you know, Cisco was thinking, like, you know, man, I realized that I spent so much of my life as five that I forgot to be Cisco Ramon. So, you know, Cisco was thinking, like, yo, why don't I just create a cure for all metahumans so then that way they won't get their powers. Now, of course, you know, Kevin's like, wait a second, well, we shouldn't just force this on people, you know. Of course, Cisco's like, well, he's like, of course I'm not going to do this. You know, that's something that they agreed upon throughout the episode. But, you know, when, uh, but, you know, like, what's, when, what's her face, you know, when, uh, Silver Ghost came into the play. So, uh, Killer Frost came out of nowhere and destroyed the, the remaining shards that uh, Cisco had for the, for the cure. And the problem is, you know, um, now Cisco's like, wait, what the hell am I going to do now? But, you know, Caitlin comes back and realizes that, hey, look, my father was working on something very similar to that. You know, so, and then they vowed to never try to force the cure on anyone. You know, and they're going to commit 100% to it. You know, and then we see. Um, Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock, has dinner with uh, Barry. He's asking him about, uh, so, what about the language you were speaking when you came out of the Speed Force? You know, and they got in that little bit of a conversation. And then towards the very end of the episode, we see Sherlock going to uh, the Speed Lab. Not Speed Lab, but, um, uh, what do you call it? The Time the time Vault. And he asks Gideon, give me all the files on Nora West Allen. Gideon says, Nora deleted all of the files of herself. So, you know, that right there is a very extremely a big red flag right there. You see at the very end of the episode that she goes back to 2049. Nora goes back to 2049 and tells Eobar, look, I'm going to amend things with you. I want to continue to work with you. You know, which is exactly what Eobar was hoping for. He was waiting on her to do that. You know, and it's like Eobar, God, he's always about, I'd say, at least 10 steps ahead of Barry. Like, he just knows. He's so uh, neurotic. He's just so, um, just freaking so left field with everything man towards Barry that he just does not he has such a deep disdain for him like he's just like I just want to ruin the flash forever so yeah, I think this is just eating right into the palm of uh, Eobar Thon's hand right here so that's why when I see next week's episode um 
seeing red, I'm really, really looking, really looking forward to that episode because I want to see Barry let off some steam and so forth. And I'm also looking forward to uh, Harvey Sawyer's uh, character, Ralph Dickney, a.k.a. the elongated man, and uh, Grant Gustin really doing their thing when they go underground looking for Cicada and trying to defeat him somehow. So this has been your boy Chase Reese. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any requests for any videos you guys want to do next, let me know in the comments below. I always welcome you. I always will be. This has been your boy Chase Reese. I love you guys. Peace and love. Guys, I'm forgot, I've almost forgot one thing too. To finally figure out where Joe's been for the last, for the last for the past few weeks. Uh, as we all know, Jesse L. Martin uh, had a back injury during the summer the hiatus of the Flash, and we was, he was seen in a few scenes, episodes of the Flash, just sitting down for most of the time because of his back injury. And um, I think, and we find out, you know, during the scene where um, Jesse was, you know, prosecuting Weather Witch that she, her power started to go a little haywire and she finds out that Joe has just been in Blue Valley with Jenna visiting Molly. So that's where Joe's been. And I like how they actually chop that up. So that's pretty intriguing if you ask me. But for this time, y'all, peace and love. I just wanted to add that in there real quick.